Honor mode in Baldur's Gate 3 is more than kicking birds, killing random halflings, or uh, attacking traitors. It's also about messing around with druidic wolves. I like that. Uh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? I just wanted to give you my smell. I'll leave you be. No, wait. You smell fresh. Safe. You can stay, if you must. You're terrible at smelling. That mural, they look like dark justices. The towers seized the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. The broken helmet bears the mark of Shah, the dark lady. And if the darkest one is Shah, Moonrise must be her celestial sister. Saluna. Those murals in the grove, something about them seemed to catch your eye. What can I say? They were eye-catching. Consider me an art lover. Okay, art lover. See you later. There's something back here. A Kaga's chest. We have the Shadow Druid's Doctrine balances a myth where any clan treads nature struggles. Unity is a fiction. Men of mere flesh seek only to tame beast and raise flora. We are the thunder We are the, and we are the rain. We shatter mankind and grow new life in its place. In a half-torn note. Koga, Swamp Dog's Tree, Meet Me Alone, Olodran. Huh. Koga is dealing with the uh, Shadow Druids. And we're also looking for an Apprentice Druid or something. Nettie, I think was her name. I see you. Just give me a moment. Oh yeah, sorry. I kicked the bird a little. It's, uh... But, uh, but I'm more important than the bird. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. Yeah, um, sure. The, um, how good are you a healer? Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. Well, there's no good way of putting this. I... I have a tadpole in my head. A mind flare tadpole? Come, follow me. I might be able to help. She had a tiara ju that looks just like mine. Now, I, mine is hidden, so because it, I don't think it fits. But that means the halfling outside was a druid. Because he had her, that tiara. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Oh, like the, it crawled out of the other guy's head. Wait, th that means she has a... That means she has another tadpole, like I, I do. Wait, I mean, it, uh, like a not in the eye, but in my hand. Well, my butt pocket, but still. So he and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Give Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plan? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? No, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. Nothing? You sure? Well, I did fall from a ship in the sky and something caught me. So, I suppose that's something. Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. 
Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Oh yeah, on a mind flare ship. I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. And if I don't transform... But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. You're a terrible judge of character. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I... no, I'm, I'm not talking taking poison from a woman I can't trust. But you have to. Don't you understand? You could kill us all. I don't care. I'm not gonna die. Then I've no choice. I'm sorry. Oh. She means I'm dead, not I'm sorry. Oh, crap. Oh, this thing's locked behind me. Uh, that's That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, uh, pick the lock. I can't even see a lock to pick. You can't? Another fight. Let's go. Let's go. Um... What? What was that? No, it's this thing making noise. Don't worry about it. There he is. I opened it from the inside. And everybody outside is in fight right away. Okay. That's pretty good. The flaming sphere is a problem. I think it goes away the moment I kill her. Which should happen pretty fast. Let's do fairy fire. And hopefully I will maintain concentration. Because now we have advantage on all attacks. And I will stay here. I've missed this. And Astarion now has a much better chance to hitting. Concentration saving throw successful. That is definitely the summon. Yep, Flaming Sphere is concentration. Okay, that's good news. Victory awaits. It does, doesn't it? Unfortunately, that's you're it kind of you're, you're kind of far away. Kind of very far away. We have brace, spend movement to do extra damage. Wait, can you actually shoot from there? Yes, you can. And now you can shoot. Let's go. Oh, miss. Come on, with advantage? That is brutal. Concentration broken. Flaming aura. Okay, the healing doesn't matter. We now know what's going to happen here. Cutting to the chase. There we go. Concentration and saving throw successful. That's just good. It's good saves, honestly. 65. Another saving throw. Again, good saves. Uh, a cleave may be a good thing to do here. I rarely do it. No, actually, it isn't. Ah, all right. She hears of the devil and thinks we can be bound. Can't blame anyone for reacting with fear, but it might do to keep our condition on a need-to-know basis. Yeah, another one bites the dust. In this case, the dirt. What do we have? Good berries. That's normal druids. And another key of the ancients. Yeah, it's plus one nature. It's not bad. And the wyvern toxin that she wanted to give us. And a note on drow parasite. The host seemed unaware while alive of the parasite. If there's a cure, it seems Halson is the one to talk to. Indeed. Forget Halson. Only a Githyanki crash holds our cure. I'm okay with either. I'm fine. A note here. The circlet to open the library. Wear it always. Oh. That's the reason why we opened that door. Hmm. And a Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen. Alright. We can also speak with the dead. I haven't done that yet. But let's do it. Your name and house. Now. Ned Sieranis of the Absolute. There's no house of the Absolute. No houses. All equal in her love. Why, why would you serve? Drow are born to rule. We will. A 
Absolute will rule all. How did you get your tadpole? The corpse remains silent. It doesn't understand the question. Yeah, because they are unaware of it. Where did you start following the absolute? Moonrise Towers. Initiation. Moonrise Towers. Ooh, I can also talk to Nettie. Where do you keep your valuables? Beneath. Locked by rooms. Oh, yeah. There's something about that, isn't there? How do I get in there past these locks? Wolf rune. Wrath. All right. I'll figure it out. Until Master Halston returns, my eyes must stay on Korga. That's good news for me. On account of um, me stealing from you? Watch your back. Go. That looks doable. Let's try something. Watch your back. The tiefling's in. The child might have lived. Okay, this doesn't get me any closer to where I want to be. It does move these people, which is pretty good. Come, boy. It's all right. How about here? Oh, they don't come again? Oh, wait. They're not looking. I don't know what happened to the other guy. Uh, I don't... I, yeah, I need to sneak. Oh, fuck. Hiding successful, though. Did it. Rune of the wolf. Let's go. Thank you indeed. And now get out. Uh, do I get out this way? I do. Ooh -hoo! I don't know why they didn't look the second time around. But I'm out. Ugh. All right. Ooh. Good. Now, what is this thing that I just got? It's a dusty clay tablet portraying a wolf. Send it to Angrazim. We have a big bear or wolf going down into the earth. The hidden vault. On my way. Oh, it's more of the wolves. And we got sorrow. It's a glaive. Plus one. Pretty decent. We pulled it off. Do I kill the bird? Please. I'm resting. Uh, something took a chunk out of you. What happened? The bird says nothing. Trying to rest. I'm gonna prod the bird's wing. Ah! Big dog. Null. I got too close. Where did you see these gnolls? Hills. Near. Road. The bird lapses into silence, her head lolling to the side. I'm gonna prod her again. She lies limply on the table, completely still. Job's done. <laughs> Fucking brutal. <laughs> Just absolute, absolute destruction. Hey, Rath, don't look inside. There's a bunch of dead people. And uh, not just a drow. Hey, Astarion, how are you doing? Robbed all the things? Hell yeah. All right, speaking of robbing, we want to take that. But we likely want to sleep before that happens. Mm, mostly because we're out of spells and we may have to we may pick a fight with them if uh, if we steal that. So, let's go to camp. Talk to Gale. No oh, man, he's injured. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course. They're sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Oh, you mean Will? Yeah. 
It does come with the territory. Speaking of which, Will. The first time I saw you, I figured you were champion. A woman of valor, integrity. But you seem intent on proving me wrong. Thank you very much. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Hell yeah, she sounds amazing. Who's this source of yours, though? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Your... your patron. Right. Okay, I got it. Let's move on to other matters. All right. Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields, flanked by goblins. Goblins? Pitiful vermin, is it to kill? Hardly worth getting worked up about. Tell that to the boy shivering over his mother's ravaged corpse. It makes me angry to think about it still. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. How great could you be? I've never heard of you. I shouldn't be surprised. You are a great talent. When darkness falls, you make your own light. The helpless, though, they need the light of others. They're the ones who seek out the blade. Yeah, I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? The, no. Okay, did you lose your real eye or flesh eye, the real flesh eye in battle? Because the stone eye is there. You didn't lose it. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma days. Which we will not have on neither account. Uh, although I can lean in and examine the eye more closely because I'm a war cleric. You know how it is. Tiny grooves spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. Oh, is that like a spy camera? <laughs> Isn't your eye a sending stone? A uh, sending stone? <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. You watch and listen for signs of deceit, but sense nothing unusual. Yeah, thank you, game, for telling me I failed my inside check after you tell me I don't sense anything unusual. Yeah, about Cogup, what do you think of her? Damn her to every hell. Feeding a precious child to a serpent. She might still be alive if we'd spoken up. A precious serpent? You should say, it's the girl's own fault anyway. If she hadn't resisted, she'd still be alive. Ah, yes. That old refrain. If only she'd obeyed. Words of evil masked as justice. Sickening. I like you, Will. I like you better this way, actually. <laughs> Reacting to me saying evil things than agreeing with the normal things that I say otherwise. Plays L. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Mm-hmm. What about you, Astarion? I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. What do you mean he didn't give me credit for them? I have many talents, if you want to explore them. <laughs> A delicious thought, but... But? What are you waiting for? The right moment. I'm sorry. I... I need to clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. Mm-hmm. Lazel. A fine evening, don't you think? Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. The tears? What do you mean by the tears? Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. 
Oh, are all Githyanki from the tears? Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in creches all throughout realm space. Kalir is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon, where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. Okay, that's enough of that. What about you, Shadowheart? Have you killed your cousins? The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? So what will come next for you once this is all over? Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Yes. Who? Let a girl have some secrets. I can use my shared connection in Prober Thoughts. And I will. Let's go. Exactly the role. You find a current of hope flowing through her thoughts. She believes you all have a real chance. She's anxious to find this person in Baldur's Gate. Whoever it is has a stronghold over her and can give her something she desperately wants. This person in Baldur's Gate must be very important to you. Yes, vastly so. But I don't want to talk about her. Not right now. It's a beautiful night. I think I'll stay up to enjoy it while I still can. Rest well. I think I know who she is. I never thought about this. Oh. Yeah, that's curious. Um, well, it's not a spoiler if I tell you it's the knight. It's the knight, the person that... Uh, that she's going for. Yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, I need to go to bed. Astarion, what were you doing? Need something? Mm, let's could go back to the traders that we uh, angered. He's back. Aaron is back. Is he gonna be fine with me? I've I have no idea what happens when people are angry and then stop being angry. Hello? This individual doesn't seem particularly fond of you. Perhaps a gift would improve their sentiment. Yeah, how about something to smooth things over? Your offer appears to be of interest. Let's make it a good one. I'm giving him 270 gold. Let's see how that affects him. You want to receive any golds from this trade? Yep. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Okay. I have a plan. Let's get Gale. The air is ripe with magic. It is pretty ripe, isn't it? So the idea here is... Gale... For now. ...can cast Fog Cloud... Specifically on Astarion. Why is he upset? Let us confer. Keep your blade close. I don't know. It's kind of pass. But this is what I wanted. In fact, ooh, that is a difficult check. I'm never getting that money. But it's fine. I what I need is the armor. That is a much easier check. Being arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. I'm not being arrested. I can try to talk my way out of it. I can barely see my way out of it. But I can pull it off. Hell yeah, I can pull it off. You're free to go. This time. But next time, you won't be so lucky. I'll just steal from him again, try again, and convince him that I'm, I'm doing fine. Pulled it off. And now it's just a matter of getting out. This way. Run, run, run. Yeah. Uh, yep, someone's been in my pockets. That is correct. Definitely not the person you just accused of being in your pockets. All right, we have new armor again. Uh, the, they only cost me 260 gold, which is fine. And it looks amazing. That was worth the trouble. And there will be more trouble in the future. Uh, actually... Is he gonna complain when I'm around? Or does he forget? Hey, are you cool? Need anything else? He's cool. All right. Oh, wait a minute. That means you can kick their ass. As long as you don't have the people in your party, they don't lose negative 
You can just, like, dismiss your teammates after you kick their ass, or before you kick their ass, and, uh, and they just kept, keep kicking their ass. <laughs> and they're like, oh, everybody keeps kicking me in the ass and taking my stuff. Oh, actually, that probably should, I probably should do that. What are you doing over here? Why did you come after me? What do you think you are? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I was thinking. I was thinking, and you you just got yourself into the you just amount of tr just behave. Oh yeah. <laughs> he says just behave <laughs> with, the, with the with the thing with the <laughs> that's funny. I'm gonna kick his ass. Anyway, we're gonna steal the idol. Actually, there's a little bit of a thing here that we didn't look at. So let's do that. What? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? What? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Well, pleasure. I'm Angus Rim. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. Nice decor. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. What makes you say that? Call it a ninth sense. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. What makes you think I need saving? Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in Deep over your tadpoled head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Hmm. I need to think this over. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there, 
when it runs out. Hmm. Where? Because this is like, we're getting out of the grove here for a little bit. And we get ambushed by a devil. All right. All right. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. What's that tune you're singing? More like butchering. Nothing fits, you know? Let me see if I can help. Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. Hand me that loot. We can perform together. I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. I can play along with her. Let's do it. It's difficult, but that's why we have Thaumaturgy and Bardic Inspiration. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that's also why, why we have normal inspiration. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's do it again. There we go. Natural 20. I'm going to shred the hell out of this loot. Words of mine will turn to ash When you call the last light down Moon reminds me of your grace All the love I can't repay Rest and know that I will pray Farewell, my dear old friend I'm sorry. Well, would you look at this grove? So lovely, so grove-like. <laughs> Very subtle. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Well, hardly a unique tale of woe these days. Toughen up, or you won't last. You're right. She'd have said the same. Keep the loot. Please. You've earned it. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. And I needed the, the loot. Because now I have perform as an action, which is pretty cool. And that means I can sing. And also I have thaumaturgy. Uh, which is... Which gives me advantage on performance checks. I don't think the squirrels are enjoying this, though. The stars Goodbye. Oh. 